Hello people, today I will show you how to heal your fish from white spots. White spots are parasites that are in your aquarium, but they break free if you have a stress moment, and my stress moment was was adding the two fish, fish from last week. No, the healing is actually quite easy. The only thing you will need is Siracosapur F. White spot actually looks like this. That's the parasite, parasite itself, but larger. The F stands for fluids, as you could imagine. We'll, and we will get this. The healing, they say, was first day having 11 drops because we, you will need 22 drops for a 40 liter aquarium and mine is a 20 one so 11 drops quite easy Qu 11 drops the first day second day they will, you will need to rest the fish third day will, you will need to add another 11 drops another day of rest another day of 11 drops that will give, bring us to the fifth day where I am now so actually you don't see a lot of the spots on it they are actually all away but you will still want to have these to be sure that all the other eggs and stuff stuff are out of your tank now after you did the last drops you will need to wait another day and then you can um, do another half water change also you need to change half of the water before you start the healing process it, uh, so during the healing you won't have carbon or light carbon or light in your aquarium so you can see I remove remove both of them so there's no carbon in the filter also there's no kind of light but light from the outside but can't do something about it so now to the healing itself so the only thing I it's quite easy to do it's just add 11 drops to it hope I don't miscount so here we go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, memory card was full, but no. I don't know if you can see this too good. I don't think so, but my whole my aquarium water is now kind of blue because of the medicine. That's it's a good sign. No, because my filter was still on. I didn't need to, but if your is off, you can stir a little with a. Um, I use this long, long plastic spoon. Make sure, be sure that you don't hit the fish, like I did the first time. I must commit, sorry. As you can see now, because of the carbon is out, there is actually quite a lot of algae growing. So, because also my the value for I don't know really what it is, but oh, PO4 that value was way too high f with me. So. They gave me syrup phosphate. As you can see, before there are a lot of algae, and afterwards, the water is clean and clear. So, afterwards, I will add this. They said best to wait after the healing because it could disturb the healing. No, no, because uh, so tomorrow I will leave the aquarium. And the day after tomorrow, I will do another half a water change with the green cleaner. Green cleaner is really helpful because then you also pick other kinds of maybe the eggs, maybe food. And again, the memory card was full for the second time in this video. So, no, I hope. Oh, yes, forgot something. You will need to take the carbon out because the carbon actually absorbs all goods all the good stuff from the medicine so still the filter is in there because there's still the sponge the hem the not the chemical but the 
physical filter and biological filter as you can see that doesn't hurt so now I hope if you have white spot and I hope you can heal it in time so no fish die because my mom long time ago also had an aquarium with and there was a white spot but she noticed it too late and half of her aquarium aquarium died so hope that doesn't overcome to you with me there is only one fish died so far but actually that wasn't because of the white spot I think because it it could be but I don't think but you know see you next time 